missed Friday's show, here's the RE cap presented by Honda. But on fourth and inches, instead of giving it to a fullback, they send Mahomes in there and he comes out injured. How many times have we seen a quarterback sneak happen and somebody's patella tendon get maneuvered in a way that it looks like a kneecap needs to be snapped back in? And now this guy who is so mobile, makes plays on the run, is going to have to wear a huge bulky brace probably for the rest of the year. But if the Chiefs find out today that Mahomes has to be out for the season, they got to call Colin Kaepernick. Could you imagine Kaepernick in this offense where guys are running right, guys are running left play fake rpo here that and that could you imagine what he would look like omar epps let's talk dallas cowboys football do you have mike del tufo the uh stephen a smith soundbite never the cowboys it's just the fans i really <laughs> really really despise cowboys <laughs> and, and uh, unfortunately i think that Cowboys fans are the most disgusting <laughs> nauseating fan base in american history that sounds personal <laughs> but he's he's wrong actually america the most delusional sports fans on earth okay. are new york knicks fans like let's get this out of the way <laughs> that is an established okay. fact mark kissler here on the rich eisen show broncos need to send john elway to showers and hire peyton manning as director of football operations that is quite the headline and quite the column you wrote mark it's been a great run and it's over. The man is fresh out of ideas. The number one job of a general manager is to restock your team, build your team through the NFL draft. And he has been very poor at that. But if Peyton Manning were running this operation, I think he would surround himself with great football people and he might have a general manager under him. Whether he is willing to do that or not, I don't know. Trick in theaters and on demand. Today, Trek is not about the last three weeks of the Dallas Cowboys, correct? <laughs> the first two we lost, okay, we can't lose it to Jets. That's just unacceptable. That was, a, that was a tough loss. So now you are going to root for the Nets. How great was that? That KD and Kyrie, same day, here we go. No one saw that coming. Nobody did. KD and Kyrie are going to play for the New York Knickerbockers? And that is delusional. They're going to go to the Nets. <laughs> like the Cowboys losing to the Jets. Wow. Are you a Jets fan? <laughs> yeah. My uh, condolences. I know, no, hold on a second. I know. <laughs> Phil Lord and Chris Miller here. You guys put me in 22 Jump Street with Will Forte. That was fantastic. Dream come true. If only one of the residual checks is from that. It is for That's My Boy. $18.54. Hey, 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 Mr. Rockefeller, excuse me. No. The first movie I was ever in. Disney's the kid. It's so long ago they take taxes That's out. Five dollars and thirty nine cents, everybody. Ooh. Very nice. Last this one. Is the one. Come on, baby. It all comes down to this. Twenty two Jump Street. Is it? It is. The last one. The last one. Thank you, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, for not only being on this show, <laughs> but putting thirty dollars and yeah. fifty cents. Wow. Wow. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.